Hello again, everybody. The Houndmaster here doing my, uh, what is it, day five update that I missed. Um, this is what I did some work on during day five. Uh, just a lot of touch-ups around the rhino, cleaned up some paint, uh, started adding the brass around the model, um, started the back door, as you can see here. Went with the uh, winged skull. Uh, doesn't show very much in this light, but that um, the sword and the skull are both in the brass, and then the ornamentation behind it is in gold with silver wings. Um, I'm not sure how much I like it, but I definitely want some uh, feedback from you guys. So just let me know uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, uh, color choices, that kind of thing. Uh, what else have I got going on? I plan on finishing this Rhino tonight um, as far as I'm going to go with it. So basically that's just the weapons up top. I do not have a uh, art pen to uh, do my scroll work here. And if I can get to it, I'd like to do a stencil um, over this back black panel here uh, in the shape of a single sword like I have on the shoulder pads. Uh, and uh, just put that right there. The doors, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do Forge World or if I'm gonna do uh, regular. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is have the Forge World doors. Um, and then the next one will have the Forge World back door. And then the third one will have the Forge World front door. So, I'm going to finish these weapons uh, tonight. The other things that I got going on, um, let's look over here. This just came in the mail today. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is the Crashed Aquila Lander um, terrain piece. Uh, what I did not notice is how big it was when I ordered it. Let's go put a marine next to it. Yeah. Those are some pretty sizable chunks of terrain right there. And really, really nice detail. Um, let's see which one do I want to grab. Let's just grab this one here. Let me get you a little close up on it. Look at all that. Look at the detail. That's so perfect for dry brushing. Oh, I'm gonna dry brush all over this thing. It's gonna look great. At least I hope it will. Um, not sure how I'm gonna paint it up, but that's later on probably in a month or so. Uh, something else that I wanted to share with you guys uh, is right over here. Right over here we have my recently returned to Empire Armies on Parade entry. Um, it's approximately 3,000 points of um, my personal take on the Ostermark color scheme. Uh, I entered that in Armies on Parade. You can see my bronze medal here. I managed to take third, which I'm not too, too happy with. Um, the first place entry was phenomenal. Absolutely uh, a grade A, something that I expect to see somewhere near the top in games day. Just a phenomenal piece. The second place, however, I'm a little more upset about because it, is, it was the um, the owner of the Games Workshop, his fiance, decided to enter a uh, an entry into the competition, um, which she essentially painted in about four hours. Um, now, uh, four hours, not a lot of time, but she is also a Golden Demon finalist. And so, with a force of about, oh, I believe it was like one squad of guardians and a wraith lord um, on a uh, two by two um, what am I trying to say one of those big tiles that they sell uh, realm of battleboard tile a two by two realm of battleboard um, she just managed to smoke me with that um, I had all this on a two by two board hopefully I'll get another uh, picture to show you guys here in a little bit um, but, yeah, a little down about that, but at least it's back. I still like the army. Um, I still have some work to do on it. So, yeah, it's my empire army. And let's get back to 
questions. Oh, hey, here's another fun thing. I ordered at that same Games Workshop a Mordheim figure of the Road Warden when I heard they were going out because I really liked the model. And I figured, well, they're going out. I should probably go ahead and get it. I don't know if you can tell here, but there's something wrong with this. If you'll notice, instead of the guy on foot and guy on horse, I have two of the foot guys and only one arm in there. So, I'm going to be calling Games Workshop support here on Monday to see if I can get anything. I'm a little worried since they're out of production models that they're not going to have any um, to send me, but maybe at least I can get a refund or something. Um, not too sure. So, let's talk painting inspirations. All right, again, I know. I'm not doing a screen cap, just videoing my computer here. I wanted to know about inspiration, the painting inspirations. Now, the first thing I like to go to is my folder of inspiration. This is a bunch of wallpapers and GW artwork and some other really cool things that um, really inspire me as far as the paint schemes, the colors, and the nitty grittiness of the world for both fantasy and 40k. So, just wanted to uh, show that. The other thing I've got here, um, I like to do specific uh, folders for whatever army I'm working on and put my inspirations in there. So I've got various different people who have done uh, Guardians of the Covenant and what their stuff looks like, along with my pictures that I uploaded. Um, here's the rhino that I'm basing mine off of. Uh, you can see that white sword that I'd like to do. Um, let's see. Yeah, some of my work, some of uh, another guy that I that I uh, definitely sees a painting inspiration. Now, first up, I know everyone's gonna say it because this is his challenge after all. But War Boss is one of my biggest inspirations because uh, he was one of the few people when I started going on YouTube to learn how to paint that actually had fantasy models uh, tutorials. Uh, particularly this was my very first video uh, on painting that I ever watched was how to paint State Trooper. And pretty much since then I've just been watching Warboss Tay. Definitely my biggest YouTube inspiration. Um, what else is going on here? Let's see. Oh, here. Okay. Look at that picture. Just drink it all in. That is done by a friend of mine named Ocean Grave, or he's on YouTube as Chaos Broodlord. Um, that is my Belial Counts as that I modeled up and sent to him. Um, he also does a Guardians of the Covenant Force, and probably next to Warboss Tay, one of my biggest painting inspirations. I love the style that he's got with his models. I love the color scheme. Um, and I like the guy in particular. He actually comes onto my Ventrilo server every now and then. He was, he's big on the mini wargaming forums, but he'll come onto my Ventrilo channel and we'll chit chat and talk while he paints. And he's helped me dramatically uh, improve my Guardians of the Covenant, improve my color scheme. Um, both with my own additions and doing things that he does, uh, stuff like that. But absolutely one of my biggest painting inspirations, uh, Ocean Grave or Chaos Brood Lord. A big thanks uh, to him for uh, helping me out so much with all the questions I've got. And to Warboss Tay for starting me off in uh, such a good place and in such a good direction. So. Thanks to both of y'all, really. Uh, you've done a lot to help me out, and I really appreciate it. Thanks.